Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries, John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This is going to be the continuation of the Ezekiel commentary series and chapter 12. And verse 1. The word of the Lord also came unto me, saying, Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house. Oh yeah, you live in the middle of a bunch of stubborn, rebellious people, which have eyes to see and see not. Yeah, with their physical eyes, they can see fine. Maybe have 20-20 vision. But their spiritual eyes, blind as a bat. They have ears to hear and hear not. For they are a rebellious house. What did Jesus have to say about all this? Well, let's take a look. Well, in the book of John, chapter 9, and verse 39, And Jesus said, for judgment I am come into this world, that they which see, that they which see not might see, and that which see might be made blind. So the Lord came to those who were physically blind. To make them be able to see. And those that were spiritually blind, some of them could see. The Lord would open their eyes so that they could see the light of the world, which is Christ. And he says, and that they which see might be made blind. Ooh, how's that work? Well, in verse 40, And some of the Pharisees, which were with him, heard these words and said unto him, Are we blind also? And Jesus said, said unto them, If ye were blind, ye would have no sin. But now ye say, We see, therefore your sin remaineth. Yeah, they had physical eyes to see, but spiritually they were blind. And I think all guys are guilty of that lust, you know, especially when you're young. You see an attractive looking woman and you look at her and say, Wow, I'd like to be with that girl. You know, lust in the heart. So, let's go to Matthew 13. I guess verse 10. Now, Jesus is speaking in parables. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Matthew 13, 10. He, Jesus, answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever hath to him shall be given and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away even that he hath. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not. Yeah, they got eyes to see, but spiritually they're blind. And hearing they hear not, Neither do 
they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Esaias, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes, spiritual eyes, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart and be converted. What do you mean be converted? Spiritually converted. And be and should be converted and I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes, speaking to the disciples, for they see and your ears for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. You know, a lot of prophets wanted to see the things of Christ, but they didn't because, I guess, I at wrong time, I don't know. Ezekiel 12, verse 1. The word of the Lord came also came unto me, saying, Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house, which have eyes to see and see not, and have ears to hear and hear not. For they are a rebellious house. Oh yeah, they can hear the words of God, but they don't want to do them. No, uh-uh. They want to live... The way they want to live. Uh, I think it's the witches saying that says, uh, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. You know, do what you want to do. That's the law. They're going to find out that uh, it's like holding a firecracker in your hand and you light the fuse. May not go off in the next couple seconds, but eventually it will. Verse 3, Therefore, thou son of man, prepare thee stuff for removing, and remove by day in their sight, and thou shalt remove from thy place to another, pl another place in their sight. It may be they will consider, though they be a rebellious house. So I guess he's telling them, uh, pack up your things and get ready to leave. Uh, let's see. Verse 5. Dig thou through the wall in their sight and carry out thereby. In their sight shalt thou bear it upon thy shoulders and carry it forth in the twilight. Thou shalt cover thy face that thou see not the ground. For I have set thee for a sign unto the house of Israel. And I did so as I was commanded. I brought forth my stuff by day as stuff for cap captivity. And in the evening I digged through the wall with mine hand. I brought it forth in the twilight and I bared upon my shoulder in their sight. And in the morning came the word of the Lord unto me saying, Son of man, hath not the house of Israel, the rebellious house, said unto thee, what doest thou? So did Israel, the, the people, say unto him, Hey, uh, Ezekiel, what, what, are, what in the world are you doing? What are you, what's going on? Verse 10. Say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, This burden concerning the prince in Jerusalem and all the house of Israel that are among them, say, I am your sign. Like as I have done, so shall it be done unto them. They shall remove and go into captivity. And the prince that is among them shall bear upon his shoulder in the twilight and shall go forth. They shall dig through the wall to carry out thereby. 
he shall cover his face that he see not the ground with his eyes. My net also will I spread upon him, and he shall be taken in my snare, snare is a trap, and I will bring him to Babylon, to the land of the Chaldeans, yet shall he not see it, though he shall die there. And I will scatter toward every wind all that are about him to help him, and all his bands, and I will draw out the swords, I will draw out the sword after them. And they shall know that I am the Lord, when I shall scatter them among the nations, and disperse them in the countries. But I will leave a few men of them from the sword, from the famine, and from the pestilence, that they may declare all their abominations among the heathen, whither they come, and they shall know that I am the Lord. So war, starvation, and disease. Verse 17. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, eat thy bread with quaking, and drink thy water with trembling and with carefulness, and say unto the people of the land, Thus saith the Lord God of the inhabitants of Jerusalem and of the land of Israel, They shall eat their bread with carefulness, and drink their water with astonishment, that her land may be desolate from all that is therein, because of the violence of all them that dwell therein. And the cities that are inhabited shall be laid waste, and the land shall be desolate, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Oh boy. Some more good news, huh? And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying, The days are prolonged, and every vision faileth? In other words, uh, all the bad things, oh, that's long time ago in the future. That's going to be a long time from now in the future. And the vision of the prophets fail? Yeah, that's not going to happen. You know, the, the visions are going to fail. They're not going to happen. That's not for us. Verse 23. Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, The days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. In other words, judgments now, people. And those people that had a vision of judgment, destruction, boom. Verse 24. For there shall be no more any vain vision, nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. Vain means worthless. A vain vision and a flattering divination. You know what divination is? It's witchcraft. And you know how flattering is, you know. So no more witches telling you the things you want to hear. Flattery, right? Verse 25, for I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged, for in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, saith the Lord God. I said it, I will perform it, I'm going to do it. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, the vision that he seeth is for many days to come. Oh yeah, many days. It's going to be a long time off. 
and he prophesieth at the times that are far off. Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, There shall none of my words be prolonged any more, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord God. All right, that's the end of chapter 12, Ezekiel. According to my recollection, this is approximately 25%, one quarter of the book that has the commentary been finished. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, the Lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.